Hey air signs and welcome to my channel. I'm here doing your new moon energy channeled messages. Uh, this is for Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So with the new moon energies, um, especially being it in your sign Aquarius, it is going to be a vital, um, important, significant time um, in the next couple weeks for you guys making shifts, making changes. Uh, in the new moon, it's all about new beginnings. It's uh, causing us to reflect on family, friends, work, relationships, your stability, your uh, your home, things along that line. So um, you guys are really going to begin to sit with yourself and uh, decide what is working for you, what is not, what aren't you getting in uh, what you feel you need in this lifetime and making changes in that direction to uh, to bring that in for you. It's very important to, um, set your intentions, do a manifesting ritual. I did post this morning, a three part video. I think each video is like six or seven minutes long, uh, about how to manifest with this new moon. So I encourage you to check those out. If you don't already have your own ritual, um, you're looking at things that what you want to change to have a better outcome, um, be aware of your emotions right now, though. Things are going to seem very high and low for you, uh, very emotional, very uh, in your feels the next couple of weeks. So just be cautious of that. It's only going to lead you to good places, but you don't want to go in the extreme as well. So um, you're starting to also analyze the feelings around your, your soul, your authentic purpose, your soul's purpose. Um, really wanting to make changes to align with what you're destined to uh, bring in and have and experience in this lifetime. And it's a huge shift for you in, in the way that you're thinking, the way that you are, um, I mean, your beliefs, your thought patterns, your, your belief systems, your traditions, everything's up in the air right now. Um, you, uh, you shouldn't be concerned with areas of your life, however, that are feeling like very murky or unsettled right now because they are going to work out for the best. Just continue to uh, live from your heart space, continue to uh, walk your authentic uh, path and always uh, listen to your soul because it is guiding you in the right direction. Um, for some of you, you're dealing with somebody that you're very vulnerable with or vulnerable towards. Um, you're feeling very uh, very cautious about allowing this person in. You just, for some reason, feel so exposed to them. This is a true soulmate for you. Enjoy this relationship. Um, enjoy your time together and allow this love to come into your life. It is going to change it for the better. Uh, for some of you, the universe is trying to The universe is trying to tell you to use this time in this new moon to really uh, reflect and redirect your energy to where you feel um, your life path is that you want your life path to go in. It's going to be a very important time um, in this new moon energy all the way until the end of March because it's really laying the groundwork for the next 30 year cycle that you guys are entering into um, evaluate your relationships, your businesses, your finances, your, uh, your life path, your health, everything, uh, reevaluate those areas of your life and consider taking a new route. Consider, um, you know, sometimes you got to know when to hold them, know when to fold them. It's one of those kind of deals. For some of you, you're exhausting your energy, um, trying to, for lack of better words, beat a dead horse. It's just, it's, it's, you're wasting energy. Yeah. Um, for those of you who have put in the hard work, have really dug in deep and gone within your own soul, um, found that inner light, you are finding success. Success is expanding your life into new horizons, new places, new people, that you've never seen coming. It is a beautiful energy the next two weeks. For those of you who did uh, put in the the work in creating your a better self. I'm sorry, just one. I'm sorry, I do apologize for that. My son was calling and I thought it was something important and it was not. So I do apologize. 
Um, for some of you, you guys are setting out on a new journey um, and just allow yourself to enjoy it. Uh, release the worry, the doubt, the fear, and uh, remember to take in the simple things that uh, are many blessings to us all. For some of you, uh, for some of you, you're starting out on this new path. People are going to doubt you uh, because you believe in things that they just don't understand. You are on a whole new soul level than the people around you, and that is okay, but don't let them plant fear in, in your road. Don't let them stop you or um, cause you to change your course of action just because they simply don't understand your vision, your, uh, your future. But like I said, that's okay because it's yours, your vision, your future. So um, try to keep other people's doubts from, from allowing you to make progress. For some of you, uh, For some of you, now is the time in this in this new moon energy and throughout up till spring, really. For some of you, it's time to figure out what it is that you believe in. What do you have faith in? Where do you stand when it comes to what you are putting stock in in your life? Um, know what you stand for, not to push it on others, not to you know, boast about it, not to vocalize it, um, or put it in other people's face, but simply to know where you stand. So you know where to put your feet when you start walking your path. Um, you have to know what it is that you believe in, what you have faith in, what you are trying to achieve. Because if you set out on a journey all willy nilly, you know, you're, you don't know where you're going to end up and the universe don't know where to guide you. You have to be in the driver's seat of your future. If not, if you allow other people to be in the driver's seat, you are going to end up somewhere you don't want to be. So make sure you know where you're going, what you have faith in, what you stand for, and then the universe can help uh, push you in that direction, help help manifest things in your life that reflect that uh, that vision that you have for your life. Uh, for some of you, for some of you, you're really going within and trying to find that inner wisdom, trying to uh, find where your niche in life is, where you're supposed to be. You know that where you're at isn't your destination. You know that there's more out there for you. And um, this time is going to be kind of confusing for you because you you feel lost. You feel, for some of you, you feel forgotten about. For some of you, you feel like somebody just took off and left you to fend for yourself. Um, you're going to find that inner wisdom and it's going to come to you very quickly, very like sharp. You know exactly what it's going to be. Um, very clear, very, very clear vision of where you want to go in this new moon energy. So sit with yourself every day, meditate, pray to your angels to bring you a vision of what it is that you're supposed to be doing in this life. And you will receive that vision. For some of you, you are getting your vision or you have gotten your vision. Now is the time to go for it. The energy is perfect for you to start new, start your new beginning, start that business, start that relationship, start whatever it is that you have that vision of starting because you're going to find success in it. Um, for some of you, you are, uh, uh, having this like aha moment almost, but it is in the form of like a clear idea. Like, like you have been sitting here staring at this problem for days and then you walk away, you, you know, take a break away from it and you 
come back to it and bam, the answer is right in front of you. It's like an aha moment, but it's like in the thought of an idea, this is going to lead you to so many opportunities that are coming in your direction that you have no idea the hugeness of this time period for you. This is so, so going to change your life in the positive. So be open to new ideas, be creative, meditate and allow all ideas from the universe to come in. Um, you know, it's some of them, it is going to be like, you just think you thought it up, but, um, it's going to come in a time of silence. So quiet yourself long enough to hear the silence and you will be surprised at what you also hear as well. For some of you, you're reminiscing about somebody of, of your past. You're, this person reminds you of the simple things, the beautiful things. You know, like simple, like lemonade on a hot day is what I'm seeing. Um, you guys had a lot of fun together. There are so many things that Yeah, there are so many things that remind you of this person. Um, there are things that resonate with you between the two of you, and you are just sincerely missing this person. You almost hurt like physical pain uh, because this person is not in your life anymore. Um, for some of you, it is from a death. Know that they are... Um, on the other side and cheering you on. Um, for some of you, this is a lover that left um, and you, you truly just miss the simple things that this person brought to your life. The simple joys, the simple happiness, the simplicity of their beauty, not realizing how, how beautiful they are and not even trying. I feel my heart just literally like fluttering, but heavy. Um, this person is going to reach out to you for those of you who met this person in 2015, uh, well, possibly 2005 too, because I just about said it, um, 2015, uh, into 2016, um, especially. Yeah. They are feeling that same feeling. Um, you guys are directly, directly mirroring each other's emotions and feelings and thoughts. You meet in each other's dreams. Um, this person is not with you, but they have never left you. This is going to be a ma major turning point in the two of you's connection in this new moon energy. Um, so allow it in, allow all things in for you. Uh, there, yeah, there's a group of you, it's like you're trying to hurry, trying to force things, trying to, uh, make things happen. And they haven't taken their natural progression of like through the natural order, uh, you know, the life, life, death, rebirth process. Um, don't rush these things because if they come back too soon, um, especially in relationships, it's just going to go through another breakup. So allow their healing process to uh, allow them to heal before they before you try to rush back into their life, because otherwise it is going to. Uh, turn into another separation while they work on themselves and you'll have to start the cycle all over again. For some of you, you're going against the grain during this energy. Uh, you are seeing things and resonate with things that not everybody else can understand. And that's just freaking beautiful. So continue to do your thing. Uh, you're going to find much success and much popularity over it over time. Right now, it's kind of like, um, it's kind of like causing a ripple in everybody's life. 
And so you're kind of like, not looked down on, but like, uh, you know, what is he talking about? What is she talking about? That's so weird, you know, type of thing. But, you know, come a year from now, people are going to be like, oh my gosh, like he said that. So, you know what I mean? Like you're going against the grain, you're going against society and it's going to be a shock to people right now, but give it a year and you're going to be the awe factor. For some of you, you need to seek support uh, in regards to an emotional crisis that you're dealing with. Uh, seek counseling if you if you need to. That would help a lot. But allow yourself to grieve. Allow yourself to take time. Allow yourself to take off. Um, you are suffering from a broken heart due to losing somebody to death. Um, I said this before. Tears are a beautiful soul cleanser. Allow yourself to cry. Allow yourself to process um, everything that's happened. This For this, it may be one person, it may be more than one, but this was a tragic uh, loss in the form of a car accident. Um, for this group of you, take the time off. You're trying to push through work. You're trying to do everything to keep your mind off the uh, the void that is now left in your heart due to losing this person suddenly, tragically. And it's okay to break down. It's okay to cry. It's okay to grieve. And it's okay to not be okay once in a while. Um, it's okay to let other people be there for you, to let other people take care of things while you uh, mend your broken heart and try to regain your uh, your footing in the world after losing somebody so important. So don't be afraid to ask for help. Don't be afraid for letting others help you. And please seek emotional um, support if, if you feel the need to. For some of you, uh, there's a door opening up right in front of you. Walk through it. You're thinking, is this too good to be true? How can this possibly be? Um, yesterday, this, this wasn't here. Now it's here. What do I do? Do I trust it? Go for it. Walk through it. Uh, open that door and walk right through it. If it's not your door, you'll know soon enough and you won't be out anything. You won't lose anything because <clears throat> for the majority of you, this is your door. For some of you, um, there's coming a time, a balance of fairness. Uh, some of you are dealing with lawsuits. Those are going to come out in a fair, balanced way. Um, they are coming to a close. For some of you, uh, for some of you, there's you're arguing with family or within a family where all parties involved need to surrender their personal agenda and and give in to what is the greatest good for everybody involved. Um, it's tearing the family apart, and it's it's. Uh, it's not doing any good. So really consider, um, yeah, really consider removing your personal agenda from the equation and uh, work on compromising with these family members. For some of you, uh, be cautious of in the next two weeks, lashing out at somebody, uh, making personal attacks out of fear because this is only causing more hurt and more damage to the already uh pretty battered relationship this is with like a mother uh a mother a grandmother a sister that the two of you have been um back and forth with each other for some of you uh you are wanting love to come in but you are holding on too tight to the outcome you need to surrender the attachment of the uh, outcome and allow your will to drive you in the direction and have faith that the universe is going to bring in your true love when you are open to it and not putting a face on it or a name on it or what it should look like, what it should feel like. True love is coming in for you after this energy shift in the next two weeks. Um, I see for the majority of you, it's going to be in March, like around spring, new love will be here. So um, try to release the attachment to the outcome of the who, what, when, and where, and just allow, <clears throat> excuse me, um, for some of you, you need to hold on tight to your dreams, to your ideas, to your visions, and let the universe put the pieces together for you, 
Um, this is also releasing the outcome uh, and what it should look like. You are going to be able to accomplish what you have set out to accomplish in this lifetime if you um, allow yourself to release what you expect and allow what you get in. Uh, for some of you, it's time to release guilt and shame in this new moon energy. Release it. Uh, you're holding on tight to it and it's blocking love. Um, you guys are going through a huge transformation right now and you're really dropping away anything in your life that that's not making you happy and you're, you're finding new pathways. Um, the journey is transforming you. When you set out on this journey, uh, you are not the same person you are today. And when you get to your destination, you will not be the same person as the day you started. So um, enjoy this journey, absorb it, let it all in, learn from it, uh, experience it and take from it what um, your lessons, your blessings and everything in between is giving you. Uh, for some of you, whoa, this is like strong energy. Um, for some of you, you are in separation. This is most definitely like a twin flame connection. Um, very strong, very strong. Like it all, it made me dizzy there for a second when it hit me. Um, the two of you had met each other at a time when you both had given up on love, really, you're, yeah, you both weren't looking for each other when you found each other. Um, this is a relationship that's been going on anywhere from three to 14 years, um, on and off, in and out of each other's lives. When you both... When you met each other, neither one of you were looking to start a relationship. Neither one of you were looking to fall in love. And as we know, it also happened so fast. But you two were both so open and honest with each other, yet you weren't afraid, uh, afraid of each other's wounds, each other's scars. Like, even with, this is what I'm, I'm hearing even when um, your mind, body, and spirit were broken into a million questions from people of the past that hurt you, they still thought you were the most beautiful thing they'd ever seen, um, your twin. This person ghosted you. They ran off. They went back to somebody else. They try to find the words to describe what if feels like to have found you, to have been with you, to have loved you. And it's impossible to find the words. So they, they ran, they took off, they could have ghosted you, but either way they went back to somebody else or they are with somebody else. Or this could be you, you could have been the one that ghosted, um, Spirit is saying with this energy, it's time to take a stand. You are living a life that you don't want to be living. You know where your heart belongs because that person is the other half of you. You know where you want to be. You know where you're meant to be. It's time to take a stand against anybody who doesn't agree, anybody who tries to stand in your way and move forward. Reach out to this person. If not, uh, if you weren't the ghost, if, if you weren't the one that ghosted, the person that ghosted you is receiving the same message from spirit that it's time to take a stand, stand up because it is time to bring the two of you together. This person is going to reach out to you or you're going to reach out to them. And I just see the two of you coming together to, to talk, to see what has been going on, to see where to go from here. And all the words that you've been waiting for them to say to you, all of the things you've been waiting to hear an explanation for, an apology for, or vice versa, everything that needed to be said, everything that needs to be said, or will be needed to be said, will be spoken in that moment without even saying a word. Like the two of you are going to the whole conversation will happen within your heart space. 
and it's your energy is going to intensify. It's like, so the energy is so powerful here that I am having a hard time, like keeping my eyes open. I'm like squinting because it's bright. And I find my, and I'm looking at myself in the camera and I'm like, Oh my God, I'm squinting. But the energy, the two of you are going to exude from coming together is mind numbing. It's amazingly, your eyes are going to meet and you're not going to have to say a word and they're going to know everything that you thought felt said needed to hear. It's all going to be exchanged within the divine. Um, and the two of you will come together. The two of you, your souls will intertwine um, within this energy or directly after by March 21st at the latest, uh, the two of you will be making plans to move forward. Um, and by the beginning of summer, no later for this group of you, you will be in full union. Um, if there is no delay on the other person's part, uh, if they're an earth sign, uh, they're making huge, huge strides, uh, in this energy. Um, there are still a few of them that are stuck and going to remain stuck, but for the majority, I would say 98% of them are moving with the flow of this energy. They are allowing this energy to take them places that they need to go, that they need to deal with. They need to take care of so they can move forward because they know in their heart that they're not where they're meant to be. Fire signs, uh, as well. Uh, they are, a lot of fire signs are waiting for you air signs to make the move because you were the one that ghosted. But, um, if you're the one that ran, it's time to, it's time to return. It's time to come into uh, union with your divine partner and begin your soul's purpose together. Um, helping the collective by serving others. So I'm going to end my messages on that so beautiful, mostly because that last energy is just, I'm almost drained now. Like that was so intense. If you are in that relationship, Lord, you are lucky because that is some strong energy. So, all right, air signs. I hope you have a beautiful new moon. Make sure you check out my uh, manifestation videos to set your intentions, to bring in that love, to bring in that career, to bring in Whatever it is that you desire, dream big. There's no dream too big that you cannot reach in this time. So plant those seeds of intention and watch your dreams grow into reality. I send you lots of love and light. God bless.